taking a terrible risk. I know. I mean, tomorrow night, mother and father are going to this chartered accountant's ball thing. I know. But they'll be back by two o'clock on Sunday morning, and yet you're proposing to have a party and clear it away all by two o'clock. I know. It's dark. I know. Will you stop saying I know? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> you really think mother won't find out anything about it? It's absolute madness. I know. <laughs> I'm expecting you to come, by the way, Boo, of course. Oh, yes. Who's doing the food? <laughs> people. What people? Well, I was hoping you were. Oh, oh come on, Moo, eh? Last time, I mean, that avocado dip was sensational, wasn't it? Be honest. And we had enough left over to give two coats to the living room ceiling. <laughs> I could bring my Herb Alpert. Herb Alpert? Why not? Put it in the mulled wine. <laughs> herb Alpert is a band leader. I know, I know. Oh, stop saying I know. Do you know that story about a man who uh, goes to the knacker's yard and buys a dead horse? Please, Kevin, not while I'm eating flapjack. Flapjacks aren't like dead horses. Mothers are. <laughs> anyway, this bloke says, could you take this dead horse round to my house? And when they get round there, he says, would you mind putting it in the bathroom? So they take this horse up to the bathroom and he says, uh, I wonder if you'd mind sticking it in the bar. And the man from the knacker's yard says, look, um, excuse my asking, I don't want to seem inquisitive, but uh, why do you want a dead horse in your bath? And the bloke says, well, I've got this friend who's always saying I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's very good. <laughs> Oh, it's very funny. Very funny, Kevin. He hasn't finished yet. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. He's always saying, I know. Now, when he comes round tonight, he's bound to go to the bathroom. And he's going to come racing out, and he'll say, Hey, there's a dead horse in the bar. And I'll say, I know. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, then what? Sorry, then it, sorry. That's it. That no. is the end of the story. Oh, oh, oh. Very funny, Kevin. Very good. Very good. I, I laughed a lot at that. Very good. <laughs> We're going. Come on, Muriel. No, it was good. Look, mm. you get some paper cups mm -hmm. and plates. Yes. Some plastic knives and forks. And get more than we need because we do not want to touch one thing of Mother's. You're going to do the food. That's wonderful, Moo. Mm. And the cat's away and the mice fall. Very good. The story. Very good, I know. Very good. Enjoy it. I wasn't listening. I wasn't concentrating. <laughs> when the cat's away. <laughs> Honestly, why don't we just grow up? Why don't you just tell Mother? What? You can't do that, Moo. It's a dormitory feast. <laughs> you don't tell the beak when the wizard japes are going to be, do you? Well, Yaru, what's the password? Oh, I haven't thought of one. <sighs> you prize Wally. That's good. That is good. You prize Wally. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Just a coffee, please, love. Morning. <laughs> you're, uh, you're, um, 
You're you're not a regular here at the company. <laughs> no, 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 no. Thought not. Thought I hadn't seen your face before. <laughs> not that I'm seeing much of it now. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'll tell, I'll tell. By the way, uh, I thoroughly recommend uh, the sausage rolls. Put hair in your chest. <laughs> Here. Yes. Give your mate some of these. Let me give them out. Oh yes. What? Oh, the circus. Oh, you with the circus, are you? That's right. Ah. What is it you do? I'm the bearded lady, you know. I. Oh, are you really? How's that? I've got a beard, haven't I? Oh, good Lord, I'm sorry, I didn't notice. I didn't... <laughs> well, it's not full time. Oh. Now, I do the Shetland ponies, the trapeze, I take the money, and I tame the lion. Goodness me, not all at once, I hope. No, at different times. Oh. Here, what are you doing at eight o'clock tonight? Oh, that's very kind of you. <laughs> I've never been invited out by a bearded lady before. <laughs> Unless you count Daphne Shadbolt. <laughs> Mind you, hers was mainly just up a little. Here, <laughs> look. Come to the circus. I will, I will. Very, very exciting. Tell me, listen, uh, when you actually put your head in the lion's mouth, doesn't your, uh, you know, thing we bob tickle his tonsils at all? Well, don't have the beard from Jungle Jillian. Oh, it's not real. Do us a favour. It's a gimmick, isn't it, for giving these things out? Oh, I see. Well, I'll see you tonight at eight, then. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's not real. Real. <laughs> it's not real. It's not real. It's only a theatrical gimmick. It's not real. You haven't paid! Is that tight enough? Well, if they give us anything to eat, yes. Well, is, is, is that tight enough? <laughs> Don't cough like that tomorrow. I might have to. Well, do it in the car park. I don't want to go to the damn thing anyway. The last time you took me out to a proper occasion was the World Cup barbecue in 1966. What about Aunt Millie's do in 1970? That was her funeral. <laughs> yes, I wondered why Millie wasn't there. <laughs> Hello? Mother? Who is it? It's the Sultan of Baghdad. <laughs> Have you used the doormat? I've tried it, Mother, but it won't fly. Boom, boom. Oh, he sounds happy. <laughs> we'll soon see about that. <laughs> ah. Oh, I see. Uh, come abund. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. It's the annual rain dance of the water board and you're going as a Christmas cracker. <laughs> it's the Chartered Accountants Ball. It's tomorrow night and you're not invited. Oh. Probably after my bedtime, is it, Mother? <laughs> you won't come home before two, though, will you? Will you? No, 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 we won't. But if you're hinting you want a babysitter, we can't afford it. <laughs> Mother, I don't need a babysitter. I haven't had a babysitter since the last one you sent round, who was two years younger than me. <laughs> I'll leave the phone number and you can have your night lights. I don't want it, Mother. You can stay out as long as you want, by the way. Don't rush back on my account, will you? Thank you. Oh, we will. Sherry, mother, what's this? The Queen's birthday, or have you been squeezing the trifle? <laughs> I'll give you trifle where it hurts. To eat, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> nice one, too, over there. <laughs> it's a judgment, I suppose. I must have done something wicked in a former life. Probably cook on the Marie Celeste. <laughs> Stop playing to the gallery, sit down. Your father and I have something to tell you. Oh, yes. I thought you'd told me everything, Mother. You know, Christmas, out. Tooth fairy, forget it. Stork brings babies, maybe. What was the other thing? Um... Watch out for Nancy boys. <laughs> yes, watch out for Nancy boys. <laughs> My second cousin, Maxwell Laidlaw, comes tomorrow night. I want you to be wearing your suit. Suit? Sherry? You've dusted the cheese footballs? <laughs> We're on parade, Mother. Maxwell Laidlaw can help you to a career. I have a career, Mother. A proper career. Chartered accountancy. I'm a librarian, Mother. A librarian. I got you through four O-levels. The world was at your feet. <laughs> you haven't grown up. That's your trouble. I have grown up. 
You haven't noticed, that's the trouble, Mother. <laughs> I'm an adult. I get begging letters from the SDP. Mind you, the cat got two of those last week, so that's not <laughs> I am a mature man. I am a man of maturity. Where are you going? The circus. <laughs> the circus. Sydney, this mature man is going to the circus. Uh, with the elephants? Possibly. Well, take a bucket along. Best stuff in the world for broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> Language, father. Bye, mumsy. <laughs> And that brings us tonight to the end of the Renton Circus. Good night, mums and dads, boys and girls. Tell all your friends to come and see the Circus Lorenzo. Look both ways before you go. Good night, good night. Thank you very much. Well, do my best. Pity there weren't more of me. Yeah. By the way, I thought you looked so much nicer without the beard. Oh, thanks very much. What's that bucket? Is that yours? No, no, it's my father's. I wanted to ask you if you've got any, um, manure. <laughs> Jumbo's eyes, actually. I expect so. Better come round the back. By the way, I noticed you didn't put your head in the lion's mouth. I heard his tummy rumble, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. You want some goats? No, just straight elephant. <laughs> Sorry. I, I just wanted to say how much I'd love the show. Oh, wow. Well. Come in. Oh, right. Thank you. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> that hurt. You bumped your head. I know. <laughs> Not the first time you've done it, is it? Well, yes, it is, I have to say. Strange to say. <laughs> Take a seat. Oh, thank you very much. Beer? Oh, it's very kind. Very kind, really. <laughs> oh, it's all, uh, it's all very small. I was a dwarf once. <laughs> Really? And what are you now? I'm management. Lorenzo. Oh, Lorenzo. Well, I just wanted to say, Lorenzo, the show is wonderful. Really tremendous. Many thanks. Ta! <laughs> Missed it myself. <laughs> Paperwork. Lots of venues in the pipeline. Good. Good house, was it then? House? The audience. Big crowd, was it? Uh, quite big. Quite big? More than ten? No. <laughs> Less than ten? A bit. <laughs> Less than five? Slightly. <laughs> Less than three? You're getting warm. <laughs> Come on then, how many? Me. God, I'm bleeding Bennett! I knew it! That's why I was in here watching the telly. Oh, see, there was another lady, actually. But when she tried to ride Dan, you know, the dangerous donkey, her skirt fell off. And she... And she had sort of Union Jack bloomers on. <laughs> I mean, I suppose she was one of yours? My wife, Iris. <laughs> she was awfully big. I married the fat lady, didn't I? Oh. <laughs> I knew we shouldn't have come on the road in February. Oh. I've got 11 acts to pay, mm. the VAT, county court summons, and the bailiff's coming tomorrow. Oh, dear. I am sorry. Blame in Ada. Oh. Thank God, tomorrow night's the last night. Listen, tomorrow night, after the show, would you all like to come to a party? Thank you. Uh, Moo, keep your voice down. All right, I know it's more people, but the circus people, interesting people, you know, they need cheering up. Yes, look, look. Cater for 20 more. <laughs> uh, plus, um, Arnoldo, the human dustbin. <laughs> So you better make it 30 more, I suppose. <laughs> yes, and get Kevin to bring some razor blades, okay? Oh, wait a minute. Timothy, we, it's yes. the laid laws. Yes. Are you 
wearing your Hang suit? On. Well, yes, but you mother, a bit right away. I'll answer the door. Sorry. Timothy! Hello. Oh, oh, um. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not the laid laws, mother. It's uh, it's the Mormons. <laughs> this is Morgan. No, no, Mormons, mother. Fresh-faced young gentlemen in raincoats. I'll tell them to go away. Go away. Not you, Boo. Not you. No, I just... just you go in there. I'll be with you in a minute. Go in the lounge. Who's that whispering? Whispering? No, not... No. Oh, no, no, mother. It's the radio you're hearing in the background. The Living World. On Radio 4. <laughs> They're creeping up on a meadow pipit. <laughs> Sorry about that. Only... Poor old lady upstairs, you know, I look after her. Oh. She's, she's a poor old thing and one does what one can, you know. So, We're a spot above her. Yes, what's that? We've got the bailiffs coming around today. Mr. What, Mr. and Mrs. Bailiff? Do you mean put him in the bailiffs? What? No. No, what? The bailiffs from the court to take the stuff away from the circus. Oh, my goodness. Here um, they are. Oh, dear. The leg uh, uh, Look, uh, listen, I hope you don't mind this. We are friends. I hope it doesn't seem rude. Would you mind hiding behind the settee? What for? Well, it's just, you know... It's a long story, but I'm supposed to be wearing a suit. Mother is asked um, to... Mother who? What do you mean, Mother? It's exactly Mother who? What mother? What am I worried about? What? Uh, I mean, I'm bigger than Lorenzo. I mean, what's it? No, I'm doing nothing wrong. I'm wearing normal clothes. Sit down here, behave like adults. <laughs> After... Oh, my God, the beard. Oh, Janice Maxwell, this is... <laughs> room and I expect you'd like to wash your hands. <laughs> well, that got rid of mother. <laughs> Perhaps I should grow one of those. <laughs> oh, these young people. Well, I don't really want to yes, go. Yes, it's just at the top of the stairs, Max, well, on the left. What girl? What girl? That girl in your living room. Oh, that girl? Isn't this an interesting wall? She had a beard. Oh, did she? I didn't notice. She was a bearded lady. Oh, a beard! That was Timothy. Timothy has a beard. <laughs> oh. That was him in the thigh boots and the white fur coat. <laughs> um, I know what it was you saw. It was a Mormon. The women have to wear beards. It's part of their religion. <laughs> I've had a wonderful idea. Let's have our sherry in the scullery. Lord Litchfield always does. <laughs> Leading bailiffs take the animals. We're up the creek. Yes, I suppose so. So, could you have George for the day? Well, I've still got the cage you had for the gerbils. George, I've got you a nice home for the day. <laughs> Mormon person. She had a beard. <laughs> and where's your suit? Those are my rubber gloves. <laughs> uh, it's a national anthem. <laughs> what are all these fish? Herring, Mother. I know they're herring. What are they doing? Not a lot. They're dead. <laughs> so, Maxwell, you were a smart, proper boy. Timothy. I haven't seen you for 25 years. <laughs> this isn't... this isn't Timothy. <laughs> this is the fishmonger's boy. <laughs> Let's go and see the cork tiles. They're new. George. George. George! 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 Come here, George! Come here! Don't go next door! George! George, come on then! Come on! Fishy wishy! Come on then! Fishy wishy, Jordy! Mm. George, don't have to! Oh, no, no, no! Oh, no! No, 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 you must argue! No, 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 please! Come on, come on, come here! Come on then, good! Oh, that's a good boy! Yum, 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 yum! Come on, George! Yum, yum, yum! I go tell you that! Come on! Kippers. <laughs> you know, kippering it. Pardon? I'm kippering it in the smoke of the bonfire. There isn't a bonfire. Oh, you are sharp. I can see why you're a sharp. You must be Timothy. Uh, well, I... No, no, that, that isn't Timothy. 
That's the gardener's boy. The fishmonger's boy, you said. <laughs> I got green fingers, I have. Green <laughs> fingers, not. I said, there's a sea lion in my garden. Who oh, is there? Well, we've got two cards, you know. <laughs> I've got valuable goldfish in my pond. If it comes to that, our old canary was a gold medalist. <laughs> it's Sidney. He's next door. Timothy, your father's in there hobnobbing with Dexter. <laughs> it is Timothy. He's eating my crocuses. Eating the crocuses? <laughs> it's the honeymoon all over again. <laughs> Sydney, come back here. Humphrey, dear. You keep out of this. Sandy well, realised I was all alone. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cough, Father. You think it's a male rival? <laughs> <laughs> it's gone into that pond. <laughs> you needn't think that counts as a bath, Timothy. <laughs> Because, of course, this could win for the next door neighbor. He said to my mother, This place is telling you to a damn circus. So she slapped him. <laughs> well, that'll be the latecomers. I expect the penguins walked here. <laughs> By the way, drink up, everyone. This party turns into a pumpkin at two o'clock. <laughs> Doing here? I live here. This is my house. But what happened to the Charter of Accountants Ball? There was a bomb scare. Well, you can't come back here. Who are these people? The coach broke down outside, Rob, so I invited you know, and I've mulled some wine. I'm blown up balloons. It's a party. A bloody good party. <laughs> we'll see about that. Oh, I'm so sorry, Max. Well, it's not typical. Wipe your nose. There's something red on it. Lorenzo! I beg your pardon. Shut up, the granny. Lorenzo, you in the gas? Yeah. The bailiffs, they're on their way. The bailiffs? What are you talking about, the bailiffs? The bailiffs? The bailiffs? We paid for that. Three piece sweet. Mother, this is a prize for the Pushing. Mother, I'm going to get Something about a bomb scare. A bomb scare? She organized that herself. Anything to stop us having a good time. I heard that, Muriel. Hurry, hurry. Drive carefully. Good luck. Third gear doesn't well, work, by the way. They've taken our car, Timothy. Maxwell, they've taken our car, dear. What? This is my fault. I told them to. It was in the way. Sorry, crisis. We'll go after them, Timothy. You take our car. I told them to take ours as well. <laughs> oh, we've left that one. So, Maxwell, if you care to come and fetch All right, let's go, then. Timothy! The whole house is a bear garden. Bears? I didn't see any bears. There's a strange man in the bathroom. He's eaten one of the taps. <laughs> Father, when I return, I shall introduce you to Arnoldo, the human dustman. I shall show him the door. I shouldn't do that, Mother. He's so hungry. <laughs> You're just a silly little child. No, I'm not. I'm a perfectly responsible adult. <laughs> Sorry. 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 <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Get the penguins in the back. I'll tie those goats together. Quick. Get Titch. Titch? Yeah, Titch in there. Look, get him out and take him round to the lorry. Bailiffs have only got to see him and he's theirs. Oh, my God, the trampoline. Uh, what do I do with this? Well, you scatter. You disperse yourself. Can you ride? No. Well, carry it. <laughs> Titch. 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 Oh. Oh, you're an elephant. <laughs> Do you remember me? I was in the front row last night. <laughs> oh, you remember, you remember, yes. Hey, you do, don't you? I can see a little twinkle there. With the bucket. Do you remember the bucket? Thank you very much, by the way. <laughs> it's walkie time. Walk, come here. Walkie time. Walkie time. 
Well, if you want to, of course, yes. Can you be very, very discreet, low profile? Can you? <laughs> Shall I lean to or you? Come on, dear. Come on, dear. Come on, dear. Up we go. That's a good girl. Mr. Lorenzo? Could be. Baker, County Court bailiff. A tent's not the property of the Lord Chancellor. That's tools of the trade, that. How can I run a circus without a tent? It's my livelihood. Just doing my job, Horatio. Uh, Mr. Baker, a uh, small technical point. I'm Mr. Lorenzo's accountant. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, about the tent. We haven't cleared the HP payments on that, have we, Mr. Lorenzo? Uh, no, we haven't, Mr. Lader. Laidlaw, <laughs> uh, you know better than I do, Mr. Baker, that the Lord Chancellor's quarrel is with Mr. Lorenzo, not the Higher Purchase Company. <laughs> Never mind the tent. Get the animals. I'm the bailiff, Baker. Right then, let's have this truck open. <coughs> I believe you have an elephant in this lorry, sir. I don't think we have, have we, Jimmy? No, no, I don't remember seeing one, no. <laughs> So I ask you to open that padlock, sir. Um, that'll be impossible, right? It'll be impossible, will it? Yes. It's only to eat the key. <laughs> <laughs> did you swallow that? Uh, yes, I did. <laughs> Pity you didn't lock it first. We'll do the key back. <laughs> it's empty. Well, I did try to tell you. If you ever get into debt, Sonny Jim, I'd go to the South Pole if I were you. Come on, let's call it a day. There you are, boy. <laughs> what, you need, what you need is a good accountant. Oh, well, you've got the job, Mr. Laidlaw. Just don't expect to get paid. <laughs> uh, Timothy, mm. here's to you. Swallowing a key like that, if ever the human dustbin's down with tummy trouble, you've got the job. You're a natural. Uh, I know, I know. Will you stop saying I know? Cheers! 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 Cheers. Well done, uh, my way. Mother, you, you look as though you've seen a ghost. Timothy. Yes, Mother? There is an elephant in the kitchen. <laughs> I know.